Of the Trip Trap Talk Show. Um, we're back on the radio station, although not technically on the radio. But um, it's just me and Okechi because Teddy is out with a Teddy, fever. Teddy was sick. He's he, taking he L's. He had a fever, you know. He, 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 had, he had to go to sleep. <laughs> young he, he young needed Hennessy. He needed, young Hennessy. That's young Hennessy. Last name. Really? he needed his rest, That's but he'll be back later. Um, so right now it's just me and Sean. Yeah. Going back and forth. But, anyways, we, our special guest this week is. Um, Matt Baden, also known as Warren Russell. Yes. Dude. All right. Um, real quick. Yeah. What made you pick that name, Warren Russell? Because it's just like, I mean, it's, it's a cool name, but it's just like another name. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I wanted to do something separate from my name. So, um, and Warren is a family name of mine. Like, it's it's in my family. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so you got roots to Warren Russell. Yeah. It's like a it's like a, a name. 
fucking two girls in there. Oh, that's, that's, that's the cause. I just always thought that name was fucking sick. And honestly, <laughs> I'm, I might even drop Russell and just make it Warren. That's that's what Warren? I've been rocking like the last like couple of yeah. months. When I look you on up on SoundCloud, that's what it says. It yeah, says yeah, Warren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking Dude, you're slowly, slowly, slowly yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna keep it just like Warren. I mean, that's how I have all the tracks released right now. Is on that. I mean, so you usually when I see like art, like uh, up and coming artists, yeah, whenever yeah. you like start like looking back on their older stuff, you usually see they have like yeah, uh, yeah. some different name yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, it's the shit. Yeah, it's the so um, if you don't know Matt, he used to actually go to University of Maryland, and then you flew all the way out to LA yeah. to pursue music. His music thing, man. That's that cool. is, yeah, that That's is that's a journey. Like, what made you? want to take that journey because a lot of people when they're like presented that type of choice they'll they'll play it safe and they're like you know they're like no i'm good i'll, I'll still yeah, do what i know yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take yeah. i'll take that beaten path yeah yeah totally and i was right on that i was like right down the middle of that road last year or two years ago um and then i was like homie the the whole thing is i was going to maryland for a couple years um I was going to get a comedy group. That was the plan. I like, thought that was dope, and I wanted to do something with music, with or something in music, with that. Whether it be like, I don't, I don't know what it would have done. Like booking, like doing some sort of management type thing with a comedy group. But um, uh, I had to do the funny. The story is, I had to do a, uh, I had to do an interview um, for a class one time of somebody who does my dream job, and I have a mentor friend of mine who has been playing music professionally for years. And I interviewed him for this show or for this paper, and um, it kind of turned into him asking me about what I wanted to do with music, where I wanted to go with it, and um, and then he invited me out to to see LA because he lives in Los Angeles and works out there. Wow. So I went out there and visited him, and it was killer, and I loved it, and it was totally everything I wanted it to be. So then I, um, one of the nights that I was out there, he was just like, "Hey man, if you ever." think about leaving Maryland and wanting to come out here, I'll let you come and work for me, you can intern with me, and I'll show you some stuff, and you can just hang around, and I was like, dude, I'm so down, I'm so there, so then, the following year, after my junior year, I went down there, my my spring break of that, my junior year, and then that's when I left, the summer after that, yeah. the summer after junior year, so then now I'm here, and it's fall, back. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, you that's definitely funny. been putting out a lot of tracks. Thanks, I've man. been seeing that. Yeah, thanks, that, dude. That whole story, like, it's cool how that all happened. Yeah. But it low key kind of sounds like an old, uh, like you know, Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> like you know those old like like cheesy TV films you'd see, and it'd be like yeah. the like out of nowhere plot, like some like Hollywood dude just called. Yeah, that's like, pretty much. He was like, hey, <laughs> you want a fucking like music deal? Was like, dude, <laughs> like, here you go. Dude, it was it was wild. Yeah, I mean, I've known him since I was probably about fourteen. 13 or 14 and I just kept up with him and he's from Baltimore he's from Maryland and we moved out there when he was about 22 just like I did and um, he's Baltimore, been killing it a place where creatives are born yep yeah. yeah definitely shout out B-Boy B-Moore love it <laughs> love it so yeah man it's, it's cool and I, I intern him for now intern him with him now I'm going to I will probably work with him as I get older and uh, support you know follow this journey what was his name? Drew DeCaro is his name. Yeah, you give him a shout out. Yeah, shout out Drewski. If you're listening to this, Drew, I'd be, I'd love it. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, shout out Drew DeCaro. You can look him up. You can just Google him. You can read about all the crazy shit he's done. He's played with numerous big acts. So he, he, and yeah, he's the man. He's the fucking shit. So, um, yeah. Is he like your sensei? Uh, he's like a, he's like, you know, he's like a homie that's just willing to like help me out and just teach me all the stuff that I love to do and. Uh, just, so, everyone's a sensei. Shit. Yeah, I'm just hey, man. So <laughs> I mean, not like a serious one, but like yeah, he's like he's yeah. teaching yeah. you the ropes. Yeah, man. that's exactly what it is. Yeah, he's like totally bringing me around to, and introducing me to people that I like. You know, are totally doing the same shit I'm trying to do, and I'm meeting all these crazy talented artists and producers and people who are just in the game and killing it. And I'm just over here like taking so many notes, so many notes, so that I can kind of. Hopefully, you know, get to get to where they're at. 
Um, do you think you like could like realistically pursue music here, or is like LA like a necessary move, or like super helpful, or whatever? Well, I mean, it, you could do it here. You definitely <laughs> like the opportunities. I think I, well, I'm a firm believer of that. Like, if you really want it, you'll fucking get it. If you truly want, it. like, if you really love the process and you love the that is love the fucking part of it. That love is for the yeah yeah love the work. You can't know. beat that. You can't. So you can definitely like. And there have been people coming out of Baltimore, like Good Charlotte's from Baltimore. You know, all time low. Although I don't really know those dudes. I don't know their story, but I know Good Good yeah. Charlotte just grinded through the bar scene and like hustled and hustled and hustled and then now they're fucking Good Charlotte. Yeah, they're humongous. So, yeah, yeah. So, like, um, I think you definitely can, but for what I want to do and for, I guess, the way that my life is going, I think this move to LA was definitely the most important and the most pivotal thing for me, at least, to grow into what I want to become. Yeah. My own, my friend's going to go there for, like, six months as part of, like, a music thing. Oh, yeah. So, like, yo, you guys should meet up. Dude, first of all. Thank you. Thank yeah. You, dude. Okay, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, friend of the show, Malachi, Malachi Elijah. Oh, Malachi's going to LA? Yeah, he's going to LA for like six months. Mm, um, he I does he does rap and like singing. Tight. And he's just music in general Tight. up in Boston. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you sound like you got the same kind of grind as him. Yeah, I definitely, that's exactly where I learned how to hustle like that. It's by just watching uh, Drew fucking stay up till 3, 4, 5 in the morning editing vocals and working with these artists up late and like flying all over the country to play huge shows and it's like it's super inspiring and motivating so like I'm over here like getting in my my fucking apartment and rapping my shit until I get too tired to fucking want to deal with it anymore so <laughs> but, yeah it's it's definitely a hustle uh, one question so like you used to do like the singer songwriter thing like you, you uh, were saying earlier when did you first uh, start all that? You know? um, I've been writing songs like since I was probably like twelve. Like since Whoa. I started playing music, I've been writing songs. But like, I had I had multiple bands growing up. I still am in one now, the Backflip Yetis. Backflip shout out, Yetis. Shout out the boys and the, Yeti, the Yetis. Um, that's so a yeah, sick I play, name. I play with them when I'm home, and that's the shit. They're, they're awesome. And then when I go out west, I'm on my my own solo kind of mm. shit that I'm doing now. But yeah, I first started when I was like 12 when I started playing guitar and then uh, I just kind of loved I was a huge John Mayer fan like Jack Johnson and dudes like that and like Ed Sheeran was super sick and like guys who just I you know what I mean so that, that's awesome and so I've always been inspired by alternative music and music that is very guitar heavy because I love the instrument and um, so yeah that's like I've just been rapping trap rap for a long time let me ask you a question did you ever fuck with uh, Fall Out Boy? Yes, I fuck with Dude, heavy with Fall Out Boy. I love Fall Out Boy. Dude, uh, alternative dope. music in general is the shit. I used to be, like, I, I used to I, be I, cool I into like, the alternative scene. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Then I found trap music. Dude, trap music is fucking dope. It's nah. the new wave. Nah, nah the, I just love producing it. It's like fun and shit to produce. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell fuck yeah. But yeah, no, there's definitely like a lot of, um, a lot of things you can pick up from the alternative scene. Just a lot of different, um, like, uh, like musical genres, musical like waves, like yeah. you can get from a lot of different um, films from different artists, yeah. and you can just like you know hear that and use that in your own style, yeah, you know, I totally and adapt agree. it. I totally so, agree. Yeah, like, no, you know, I grew up in in high school. I had this rock band, and we we kicked ass. In my opinion, <laughs> I loved it. We weren't. I mean, we were good for me, and I was happy with it. Like that's what it. That's what. That's it's what about. it's always been about for me. It's like it's always about just like feeling good about what you do. And like not being too depressed about the fucking outside not selling out head. and selling out, <laughs> <laughs> not but, making um, real money. But like just like indie. playing, <laughs> nothing beats like fucking being in a garage and cranking amps and being loud as hell. Like that's so dope to me. What that's what that was the attraction. The amp, yeah, that, that fucking blows. Yeah, because I, I know that. I know that sucks, sucks when you break the amp. Blow an amp. <laughs> but I will always admire like rock bands and fucking you know jam bands and shit like that because that shit's I know. Like, that's where my roots are, you know. And now I'm moving towards this hip-hop and R&B-esque sound. And I still, I still want to implement, um, like, things from those genres, just like what you were saying. Because, mm -hmm. like, a lot, like, Got Me Feeling Good has, like, guitars. All, I have guitars on all of my tracks. Like, like putting, like, piano and, like, and, like live instrumentation mm -hmm. versus all sample-based shit. Like, that's super, hip-hop is very, very sample. 
Although, I mean, yeah, there's so you could there. you could make the argument that there are plenty of yeah. like live hip hop shows with live instruments today. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. But, like, yeah. but it's not. And there's as, a lot of like hip hop with uh, live instruments. Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah, like, yeah. That's like sample is just like the default. Yeah, uh, that you totally. can see in like uh, hip hop. Totally. Yeah, 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 totally. But um, what was I about to say? I mean, yeah, never mind. It's gonna play. Yeah. Right yeah. compared seconds. to rock bands, though, you know, there's a hell of a lot less of a difference mm-hmm. between the two. Yeah. yeah. Actually, so I like to I like to mesh the fucking yeah. all the shit that I fuck with. Yeah. And just like in one big pot and just see what the fuck happens. So, you, like you were saying though, that you were um, starting to go over from like the more alternative scene more to like the hip hop, uh, R and B, and just like using that style more. Yeah. As yeah. you transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. In your in your mind, would you say like there's uh, as much of a landscape for rock and alternative like acts as there are for like hip hop nowadays? I don't think I, it's as mainstream. Y- like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I mean, like growing up, I would see it a lot on MTV and everything. Yeah, so I mean, like that is what I used to listen to. But yeah. now, like this, like uh, like rap, hip hop, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. all the good stuff. Is you know, in my personal opinion, fucking awesome. Yeah, it's totally. always playing all the time. Totally. And um, and I mean that's cool, but it also is like kind of saturated as well. So you're not seeing like any other type of music really, and that's always the case. And like any like year, when you're like playing music live on TV, mm-hmm. you're always gonna be like some saturation. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess you're not seeing uh, a landscape for rap artists now, or I, I do. I, like, there's still plenty of great rap bands that are like yeah, yeah. transcending. Uh, like they're not like Weezer, for example, just put out a bunch of new songs, but they're not classic Weezer. It's not the Weezer from, yeah. you know, yeah. Island in the Sun Weezer. It's Weezer. You have to like, evolve, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's, I think rock, rock yeah, it's like evolving is my, like, that's my point. It's like, I think there's a landscape for it, mm-hmm. but a lot of bands are doing what worked, like, 10 years ago. And, but now you got to be on this whole production wave with all of these, like, sample. I mean, because people like Weezer is using samples and yeah. some of their shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like, little stuff like that is what I feel like sets a lot of rock bands apart is because, like, the ones that are on it are using all these different production techniques and, and, and stylistically changing their shit from what it used to be. Mm-hmm. And there are some bands that, that are doing that and they're just sticking with the norm. You know? And like, I mean, do you know I, who's doing better? Like, what would you say? I don't know. I or honestly, is it mixed? Uh, I honestly don't know. Honestly, from what I've seen, I think the bands that are like, not conforming, but adapting, are yeah. doing a lot better. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, yeah. you'll see them like collabing a lot more. You'll see them like when they drop something, you'll hear about it. Yeah. Whereas like totally. the bands that are um, kind of sticking to their own, like this is what we know, and this is what we're gonna always keep doing. I mean, yeah, they're like they're staying relevant, but in their own circle, their own and their world. circles yeah. are yeah. like getting smaller. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And that difference is what makes those those other bands stand out is the fact that the little shit that they do to to make them unique. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Fine tuning their, uh, their stuff. Dude, I saw The Roots the other day, Tough. and like The Roots are like are timeless to me. They're they, they, they will not they will that. not fade out. Dude, bro. they have like two people on like beat machines now. Because you know what? They're smart. They're smart. They know yeah. how to. Changing. They know music, so they yeah. know like if anything new comes, they they know the basics of music. So if yeah. anything new comes, they know how to just like incorporate it yeah. and just yeah. make it sound yeah, totally. to their own song. You know? Totally, bro. Totally. Yeah, they just understand it. It was dude. At one point, it was like a rave in there. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, there's like one guy, this white guy who was just going crazy <laughs> on the freaking beats. Oh my yeah. goodness. And then he kept on playing this T-Rex noise. He got like, ah. <laughs> and it sounds just <laughs> that's shit. Sick. Like, that's... Just he was, he was pretty lit, dude. The roots know where the music's at. They do. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so sick. So like, um, you told us about kind of some of your inspirations like for guitar. Do you have like any inspirations in like the hip-hop like R and B, yeah. New like wave. What I'm like, what I'm looking to do is like take, cause I don't, I'm not a rapper, but I am. But I'm not a rapper. By like hip hop, like I love hip hop. Like I listen to it, but it's like super dope to me. So yeah, I, I love the, I love the hip hop like feel. You know, but I'm not like I don't consider myself a rapper by any means, cause I've been singing since I was like 15 or 16, playing in bands, singing. You know, so and I want to like move into like a pop. EDM, pop, EDM, hip hop, and R and B was all I put in, and and a little bit of jazz. That, 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 that's that's basically like, like you know what like you know what, what EDM is kind of yeah. turning into. Yeah. Like every, EDM I've been hearing like they take a lot from trap, and a lot of trap takes a lot from EDM. Yeah. Apparently yeah. now too. Yeah. 
It's because uh, it's more like it's more about the melody yeah. than it is about like the words. Because like rap was like a <laughs> lot. I mean, a lot. Rap was really about the lyrics, or a lot of it was. It, it was no, it still is. It was but a fusion it, it, of like lyrics and like the DJ. Mm-hmm. But like now with like trap, I think it's more. I mean, but here's the thing: it's like because you know what you're getting into, though. When you're like, if you're gonna yeah. listen to a trap song, you're like, like ninety percent, you're gonna like know these the lyrics. I'm not in it for the lyrics. I'm in it for like the feeling and the yeah, beat. which like, is fine. But it's like it's a lot. It's very different from like the old hip hop. Oh yeah, you know, and I mean that's so why old heads don't like it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, old heads like you know they made it. That's like what we're adapting from. Yeah, but that's that's life. That's evolution. It's the change of, yeah. It's just the change of, yeah. Like, I mean, one day we're going to be old he- with the old heads. Yeah, Hopefully, same, fucking, we, we, like, same, a, we like, like, and we're like, you know what? That's music. That, like, that's going to be cool. And we're going to accept it. But there are going to be a lot of people going to be like, I don't like it. That, like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, that's like with every generation. It's like, yeah, my generation, generation was the best. All these other guys were stupid. Yeah. Like, well, I think we can be the generation to stop it. No. Uh, no, it's not no, gonna happen. No. I tried. It I might tried. be. It's already ha- it's it might already be less. Happen. It might be less. I would hope so. I mean, we're. I feel like we're the most accepting generation. I feel so like far. every generation thought they were the most accepting generation. Yeah. I could see yeah. That. Probably, but I mean, I think freedom of information like definitely changed a lot of things for better and for worse. Mm. But like, that's definitely had like a huge like change in our culture. Yeah. Yeah. So super I mean, fast really and like I think it's super good for music though like all these streaming services it's so much easier to get your music out there like the, yes. the radio used to control all of that Yeah, you know it's easier to get your music out there but it's it, it, it's, it's, still, it's still a racket because you're still gonna get like a lot of your money taken when you're getting like your music streaming out there but you gotta be smart about it yeah it is. like it's all about being smart about it but it is easier to get yourself like known now mhm but you gotta hit that sweet spot. Yeah, yeah. it's a balance. It's all balance. Are you coming out with like any music videos? So I, I sh- I'm, I'm going. So Miller, so the song after song fallback. Yeah. Miller wants to shoot a video. And Miller is my roommate that I live with. Oh, so that's, that's how you know. That's how I knew him because I met him through school. And I was just like working with him, and he just wrote this track, and it popped on SoundCloud, which is so sick. Yeah, that which, was is your, cool, which is cool because that's like you know that's my shit. Like that's, I'm proud of that. So it's like fuck yeah. You know. What is that's that? Awesome. Yeah. How is it feeling? Like you seeing that number climb every day. Dude, it's cool. It's <laughs> like it's nothing. Like I don't. I mean, I don't. I'm not really. I don't make the music for the views, but it is nice to see the views, like appre- like because it means that people appreciate. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's dope. I like it. Make like eight thousand. That has been played eight thousand times to to whoever the fuck heard it, and that's amazing. You know, because I was sitting That's wild. geeking out about it too. And I was very <laughs> like, because I'm I'm confident in it. You know what I mean? Because it's like that's my. I mean, my that's heart. just that like that's like a, a show of your skills, like something that you wrote, something that you like. Yeah. Um, even though you're not looking for validation, it's still yeah. being validated. It's, yeah, yeah. Without you having like, to really do anything. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's no, yeah. It's like a confirmation a in your confidence. In what yeah, you do. it totally is. It's like a blessing to be honest. It's very humbling. You know. I've been writing songs for years, and it's like to see you know, that I know people just fuck with. It's like cool. It's like, I'm like yeah, hell yeah. That's, you know, uh, that's so sick. You wanna listen to it? Yeah, sure. You play it. Uh, I produced it. And I got the second verse, and Miller. It's really it's Miller is the one who put it out. But um, I'm still I still think it's a dope track. And I fuck with it. Is it this, what is this one called? It's called Fallback. Fallback. This is our fallback. Check it out by, by Miller, by Miller, 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 by Miller, featuring, featuring, Warren, featuring your Russell, boy, or just Warren, Warren, Warren. Yeah, fallback by Miller, featuring <laughs> just Warren. Shout out, shout out Miller, because I know he's gonna, I know he's gonna listen to this. So. Shout out, shout Miller. out, shout out Texas, and Texas. Yeah, fuck yeah. Give me all that's all that you 
really don't trust me, I promise I won't let you fall flat Who knew emptiness could feel so heavy on your soul And take over your mind, your mind You couldn't love yourself Because when you were yourself you didn't feel So chill. Yeah, that was just yeah. too super vibey. Dude, just like I just imagine C going in your hand really quick. <laughs> <laughs> just put me at ease. I was yeah, just like they were, they were yeah, trying to get my taco yeah. bell. That's what yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were trying to get my taco bell. <laughs> <laughs> they're not getting it. They're not getting it. <sighs> Damn. But like, how many songs have you released so far? Like, cause that that sounded really well produced, thought, really like like studio quality. Thank you, thank you stuff. bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I got a couple. I got one that's not released that I'm dropping when I get back um, to the West Coast, and then um, I got a couple like the last two I did. I think I did like within the last month. Dropped two within the last month. So um, that shit's cool. Have you you uh you haven't released any EPs or anything like that? No, that's what I'm working up to. So like right now I'm just doing singles until you know people. You gotta, you gotta right. drop the music and then video I'll drop like a. You gotta video drop that video. Vivo. Gotta have that I Vivo. should. I know that's what that's what that's what I'm talking about for fallback. Is Miller Miller really wants to I do that? I could definitely so see a video think, for that one. Yeah, that would yeah, be that great. One, I think we're gonna do like that little like the yeah. undercut black screen and just like yeah, yeah. fades in. Oh, that would yeah, be yeah, so yeah. So I think we're definitely gonna end up doing. Everyone, everyone in the video has sunglasses. <laughs> but, um, so would you say that's like your most proud achievement? Uh, writing that or producing? Yeah, or just like, yeah. Just, it, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just a stepping stone. The way I think about it is it's just a stepping stone in the journey of where, I'm, where I want to go. You know what I mean? It's great. And like that song is dope. And I still, obviously, I mean, as an artist, you're always going to question what you make. Like, so Could it always, be better? There's always questions mm-hmm. I have about that song. You know, I mean, just yeah. all the normal shit that an artist goes through. But I try to put that aside and be like, you know what? I, at the time when I dropped this, this shit was dope to me, and it still is. And I'm just gonna move on. And now I got plenty more songs to write. You know, what I mean? it's kind of on to the next one type of mentality. Mm-hmm. Is what I like. No, that's a good mentality. Because you know like, 
You, you can't have that perfectionism. Yeah. I, I like I that, get that sometimes. And that like when you get into that attitude, can like, be yeah, daunting. it keeps it. It keeps like a song like just yeah. Like track. It could be daunting. It could um, be uh, like it could hinder your process and hinder mm-hmm. your growth sometimes. So yeah. I feel like I've been I've kind of had that attitude a lot about a lot of things. Like just not worry about it. Just don't even think about it, and let's just focus on the next upcoming thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, product. So you say you produce that song. Like production yep. wise, what um. What uh, software did you use? Or yeah. like, um, cool. Let's get into that. Yeah. I, lo- I'm, I love, pre- like, that's what I go to school for is production, and that's what I work for. Nice. Yeah, let me, let me hear that. So, like, I, so, I, so I run Ableton. That's how we do it at the studio. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So Ableton's a shit. And um, I just have a mic. I think I got the $100 ST51 mm-hmm. Steinberg. Like, I think it's a Steinberg oh, yes. from Guitar Center. It's only, like, 100 bucks, And then, like, a little Focusrite 2 oh, uh, USB. Yep, yeah, USB. Uh, Interface and then I got two Yamaha um, HS50M monitors okay. just set up and my I got a little wooden table and that's all that's it that's <laughs> yeah, all, that's all it you need now that's all I got that's all I need and I just just trying to I want to be able to make the best shit I can make on equipment like that See, I mean just a word to technology yeah. isn't yeah. this great it's like, amazing you just get like like this is like my home setup too. yes like bro. my little speakers yeah. you can just make like studio quality yes now. isn't that crazy and that's it's so, amazing it's so cheap. Like, I know dude it's the type of world we live it's in. amazing like, these are crazy times we live in right now but it, it should are, be inspiring <laughs> yeah it should be inspiring to people who like are, or want to get into that I think it is inspiring mean? because you're seeing like there are a lot more like just hell of people people popping up yeah. as like artists and rappers yeah. and like yeah. singer songwriters yeah totally so I think it's just like it's the ease of it now totally like, you're just seeing like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's cool. It's amazing. Like that's healthy. I think. I have think you ever uh, tried Logic in like production? I have not. I'm not. And my one buddy who, who's been producing my band, the drummer in my band, mm-hmm. in the back of Yetis, yeah, is, uh, is his his name's Rob. Shout out Rob. He uh, he produces in Logic. Mm-hmm. He loves it. He loves uh, Logic. I, I love yeah, Logic. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, that's his shit. <laughs> so, um, but I think I'm I'm gonna make the switch to Pro Tools here soon because school. At the school, I have oh, to they, use they tools. Use tools. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I gotta really have to man up and just do it. I'm so used to working in Ableton because I use it at the studio mm-hmm. and then I use it at home. And I've been using it for a couple of years now, so it's like I can just I just know what the fuck to do. Yeah, it's always hard now. to like switch over. But to now I gotta go to Pro yeah. Tools and figure out how to do the same shit just in a different, you know. Yeah. But I think it'll be beneficial to know both. I just have to do it. You know. The more you know, you know. Fuck yeah. There's more in your tool belt. Hell yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you were in a band before moving out to LA. I was in like multiple bands. I had one in high school, um, and then graduated high school. And I had one. Well, actually, no, it was just two. One in high school, and then one in college, and one in college is the back of the eighties. One in high school, we put out a record. It's called Five Seconds to Freedom. Check check that record out. It's on a spot. It's on iTunes and Spotify still. Damn. Um, it was like a rock album that we did. Love all throwbacks. Throwback. Throwback Warren, dude. Yeah, dude. The Fuck origins. Yeah. The origins, dude. Warren origins. Nice. This little like teaser album like cover you can make. Dude, I I wanna make Clementine like I wanna put an album out mm-hmm. with a Clementine on because I eat them all the time. And I don't <laughs> yeah, know if are, you eat it. They are YouTube. nutritional. They are I love them on those. Snapchat. So on Snapchat I literally every time I'm meeting Clementine, I'm putting up Snapchats and people people the friend, my friends who are gonna be listening to this <laughs> will know what I'm talking about. Because they'll be, I get shouts, shout out on Snapchat. I'll be like going through like other people's stories, and mm-hmm. my one buddy was just like, "Shout out Matt," and then it was a picture of him like with a bunch of Clementines. So I eat them <laughs> all. I literally pop them like candy. I pound the week before I came back here. I finished four bags of Clementines in a week. Because they're good. They're Dude, amazing. They have, you should. And they're good, good for source, you. They're a good source of vitamin C. And I just literally eat them like candy. It's Yo, like, you should eat. Have you ever eaten one on stage? No, but like, I, I'm, <laughs> that, thinking, that'd be a I'm good, thinking about like look. making that my Get EP cover is out. like a Clementine because I love those yeah, fucking. Dude, just start. And people are starting to be like, "Yo, you eat that shit so much," and I'm like, "All right, well, I guess I'm gonna get a sponsorship. Yo, I get a sponsorship. I would love Clementine. that shit, dude. I literally could eat them. Right, what's that? Um, uh, cuties. Cuties. Yes, yeah, those are the best. Cuties, bro. Uh, yo, cuties. cuties. You're gonna have the cutie jacket. Oh my god, that'd be so fresh. You're gonna have like a cutie Jordans and shit. Yeah, they, 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 uh, I just, I just they, they'd fit you out health they, as well make you that's the shit like nice nice and and ripe with vitamins hell yeah you know. that's what I'm talking about yeah so if cuties if you're listening right now we have a hey, potential <laughs> yo artist. your boy <laughs> send me a truck for like, I like this guy 
Dude, I like literally want a mini fridge in my room so I <laughs> just, can just stock it with I'm beers and clementines. Like that's all. That sounds like a. I don't know why that sounds like a trap song too. Beers and clementines. Beers and clementines. Yeah, I'm about to write. That's back like, in the next. Yo, year. like it sounds like some song I would see like that. randomly. Beers and clementines. Like, like just on one random like uh, MTV station, like you know. Oh hell yeah. Beers. Beers and clementines, or something like something with clementines. Dude, I really think I'm gonna make my my project have clementines somewhere in there. <laughs> dude, well if that's like your break because you like clementines, that's your like, thing, dude. Dude, that'd be sick. Be- because you like clementines, like clementines it, it are just must... fucking sick. I can't get over it. Dude. Mm-hmm. I feel like, <laughs> or the reason why people are eating so many clementines on Snapchat is because they also know it is a good snap. It is good for dude, you. It has a good dude, source yeah. of vitamin C, and yeah. it keeps your heart healthy. It doesn't really? No, I don't know. Uh, so that that would have been dope, too. I mean, if it you know, does, that's awesome. just like say it's a super... You know, you can say whatever these days. So, yeah, it's a super free. Hell yeah, it is, dude. <laughs> I literally... I sit down and I mix. I get out, Who, I get out of school and I sit down and I, when I work, I don't even have cable. So, like, well, all I do is, like, make music. So, I'm sitting there just and eating clementines all day and just making... Tips. In defense of that, cable's kind of, you know, antiquated. Yeah, I don't even so, cable, like, dude. I don't you even know... Care. I haven't used cable in like a couple of years yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's like so, the I only mean, thing I ever want to watch, like basketball games, maybe, and like the Grammys, and events like that. And yeah. I could just live stream that. From exactly, somebody, exactly. You know, and like I watch Netflix and that's about it. That's how I get my show. Yeah, I feel you. It's the new wave. It's that like the wave, dude. everything's streaming now. Music yeah, and that's TV. Why net neutrality didn't or pass or didn't pass. Whatever. It's still it's, so salty. I'm still Understandably, salty. though. Like, I'm still very salty. Dude, I know, I know. Twitter but I'm not going to bring this up because this is not a political podcast. I agree. This Dude, is, net neutrality yeah. isn't politics. Yeah, it, no, no, no. It affects everyone not. because it could, like, put a pay gate on, like, like up-and-coming podcasts as well, like ours. Like, people could have to yeah. pay to listen to podcasts. Yo, yeah. what if that, like, what if that ended, like, the music boom? Like, Dude, I that'd be, that could that'd do be, it, though. That'd be so sad. That would be sad, man. That'd be sad. I'd shed a tear. Uh, Dude. Yeah, jeez. I don't even want to think about that. Yeah, dude. let's not bring the podcast down. Let's, <laughs> let's think of good stuff. No, nah, dude, people people will prevail. I believe. I think we'll enough prevail. people are pissed I, yeah, off. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think there's good. There's enough good people in this world. That I like to think that. But I, I'm, I like as it. I'm getting older, I'm growing a little bit more, you know, <laughs> not pessimistic, but cynical. Yeah. And, you know, the world's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Dude, so, the world's also so dope. Man. It is. It is. Dude, there's life. There's I'm like shit that. you can't like explain that's just unfathomable. Like yeah. when you really think about it, but the world is still really fucked up. Man. Yeah, but like, but th- it's always been that fucked up, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like we're just we we're just, just know we about just hear it, about it more now because of the internet. It's yeah, like that's the, such a good point. That's yeah. such a good point. The what? internet, you know, good and the bad. Yeah, for sure, for sure, dude. It all like depends what kind of media you consume. I just try to surround myself with like positive vibes. Dude, I'm so the same way. All the time. I'm so the same way. You and your positive bubble, Sean. Bro. I don't care, dude. <laughs> dude, if I, if my positivity creates more positivity hell, anywhere else, then yes, that's like Sean. fucking hell yes. I have preached that. <laughs> I have preached that before. Dude, dude I, I get that. I get that vibe from your music. Yeah, thank you, bro. That's the. That's exactly why. That's what it's about. That's so. What it's about is the feeling and the emotion. And the, and the being well, hopefully, you know like those emotions get. Transmitted as your music property. That's exactly us, what. Like, that's know. the goal. That's one hundred percent the goal. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's the shit. Yeah. Dude, too many people just saying shit on the internet. Not enough people interacting with people in real life. Yeah. Just, everyone's so much nicer in real life. Yeah. This go, like this goes back to the conversation we had about Twitter earlier. Twitter is like Twitter. Twitter is just some Twitter thing. is like a clusterfuck of just like everything that's wrong but also everything that's like super cool and vibey like I've discovered artists on Twitter who I never never knew about I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known without like fucking mm-hmm. around and seeing a link somewhere but then there's also videos of like some fucked up shit running around and I'm like yo what the fuck why is this on Twitter you know so yeah, it's like don't, don't go on. <laughs> ever since the live streams ha- started happening too uh, yeah that the live su- streams what happened for Instagram and Facebook that was just such a bad idea cause like People just started, like, uh, live streaming, like, the most fucked up shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, totally. like not to digress, but that, that is, like, crazy. Dude, there's this one live stream, I think it was about, oh, this is, I'm just gonna say some fucked up shit happened, because, like, this is a dark topic, but, like, people were just watching it, 
and no one reported it for like a long uh, time. Like where it was like a like a like a murder or like some like uh, uh, fucked up shit happened. It was it was some fucked up shit, but like it wasn't until like eight hours later that someone actually reported it, dude. Because people right? like watching like fucked up shit. It's like weird. It's a weird dude, catch twenty two. I, <laughs> it I is, mean, though, that's so true. Like people like like that. That stuff I don't it, Like reality it's TV abnormal. shows It's abnormal No look at reality TV shows That's like Stage suffering But people love watching that I never I never got that Maybe I just like rejected the. I mean yeah If you it. don't If you don't watch reality TV Then yeah You're You're good But like I feel like I just don't want to get sucked Into that shit Yeah Cause that would be like Some <laughs> yeah. bad shit to get sucked into Yeah dude It totally can definitely right. be interesting At times But it's just like Let's just call it bad shit <laughs> Yeah dude <It's, laughs> For sure <laughs> It's definitely bad. I mean, it gave us the Jersey Shore, dude. Like, Hell yeah. It's like, yeah. I never watched Jersey Shore. I just, I, I just heard all that. the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just make fun of Tom, because he's from New Jersey. And he looks like he'd be on that show. That's <laughs> my only connection with it. He does, he does. And well, Snooki. Tom, Tom's good. Everyone he's knows about good. Snooki. True. She was like, she looked like a mouse or some weird animal on fucking yeah. South Park, yo. Yeah, that, <laughs> was, that, was, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny, yeah. Um, that was some uh, good stuff. Is your um, music influenced by like any other types of media, like other than music? Because mm. I mean, I, I know a lot. I hear a lot about like uh, rappers and stuff who get like inspired by like cartoons or like fucking. Oh yeah, a lot of rappers yeah. are nerds and like geeks. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like I mean, inspiration for me, because I'm a nerd and a geek. But totally. you know, that's that's the culture. Hell yeah! No, I mean, like I music, I I think will always be my number one inspiration, just because. I have always I've grown up I've learned this about myself I've been growing up the reason I like music so much is because of the way that it affects you and the way that how you can listen to a song and it can, it can completely change your mood yeah that's pretty day. crazy you know what I'm saying and I'm like there's nothing else in this world that has such a power like that and I've, I've always just gravitated it for that reason you know what I mean gravitated towards that towards it yeah so, so obviously like listening to a song on the radio or whatever the fuck I hear it and I'm like holy shit this is amazing that right there is like my biggest inspiration like fuck I wanna make shit like this you know what I mean I'm also super inspired by um like landscapes and shit though Ooh. so like I love like mountains and being when I drove I drove to LA when I did I like drove through Colorado and saw the Rockies and I've never been to those places before and I was just like holy shit this is so <laughs> sick and driving through these huge mountains and like seeing all just the landscape it's like blows my mind and it, that's part of the other thing that I think is inspiring me is like I just I sit there and write a song just because I'm in a cool dope spot somewhere you know what I mean yeah so. those two things are definitely like just like I don't know, really inspire they just change your mood yeah they do that's what it is dude like I was I was in Colorado in October and like I was super stressed out and then like I went to the Rockies and like and I was just like, you can't be sad there. Being in a different environment is like, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to experience. It's a good change of pace, though. It, it is your nice. mind out of like whatever you, whatever yeah. you know is like got you down. And I think the reason that those two go hand in hand for me is because that's how I feel about it. Is like it, when I go to a different spot, like when I'm driving through the Rockies, I don't feel I'm not concerned with anything else but being there, you know. And so when I'm listening to music, I'm I'm listening to the music and I'm not concerned about. It takes me to a different place, you know what I mean? And that's what's inspiring about it for me. Just and the just, fact that I can kind of, like, escape everything that I'm dealing with, whatever it be, school, family, whatever the fuck is on my mind. Like this every podcast. Day. This podcast you know what is I mean? an escape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an escape for whoever's listening, you know? Hell yeah. But what, if there's anything going wrong in your life, you know, <laughs> you, can always, you can always just listen to, the, like, the sounds of our soothing voices and just know it's going to be all right. Yeah, we're bringing the good vibes. It's about to the people. Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. And if you don't like it, well, I don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> nah, but you're you're fine. I don't give a shit. But we love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> except yes, for we definitely do. Except, except for, for like uh, except for fucked up people. Fuck you. And Billy Tool. Yeah, and Billy Tool. <laughs> fuck them. Uh. Oh, and the people who chew their mouth open, fuck you guys. Yeah, that's that's Can just you, rude. Like, like that, that annoys. That's like right. my biggest thing ever. That is. and people uh, who chew with their mouth open, like come on. That Low key, I do that real? sometimes a little bit. No, oh there, no, I don't try to do. Dude, no, like, no, one, and there's one happens. I got from like Black Mirror too. Like <laughs> oh my God. I was watching that like this today, right? Yeah. 
And there was this one scene where like they like this girl, she focused on like this guy when he was drinking water, and he would just do like, <sighs> and he would do that <laughs> every time. He did it even when he was like eating her out. He would, he would just he would stop and he did. And it was just like, yo, that is. Bro, I can see how that's that could get like so annoying. Dude, like, how can you like annoying. date someone like that? Like, I, that and that, I think that was her like thing, and she was like, oh my god. And then she told him, <laughs> and he kept doing it. And she was like, nope, I'm, I'm gone. Jeez. But like, shout out to Black Mirror. It's a great show. Yeah, season four, season just, four came just came out. Just came out. Yo, it's so it's so it. fucking awesome. Have you seen it? Like, I saw you it. I binge watched it like before. Oh, dude, I didn't see it. It was, it was good. It was good. I have, like, I have yet to. Have to catch whoever it. hasn't watched it, I'm not gonna give spoilers except for that little moment I gave. But it's a fine spoiler because it doesn't tell you anything that's going on. It was a great season. <laughs> Some episodes they fall a little flat on the face, but it's still good. It's still like plot crazy. You'll love yeah. it. You'll love it. Go watch it if you have Netflix. If you don't, find someone that has Netflix. Take their, and take their account and watch and Black watch Mirror, it. and don't give them back their account. This is not a paid advertisement. This is Okechi's true opinion. No, go take someone's <laughs> Netflix. Hey, if you want to take someone's college. Netflix, or yeah. like find a way Shut to watch up. it because you need it in your life. It's, it's a good show. Black Mirror, mm-hmm. sponsored that by Okechi. By me. That is uh, um, going back to what we were talking about earlier, um, you're talking about like nature and landscape. Yeah, is that why you called this song "Natural Escape"? So that song is exactly that idea. Okay, yeah. It's like, it's like um, well, that song specifically is, so this Natural Escape is a new joint, for the record. Like, it's not released. Never heard before. It's going to be released. I played it at the show last week, and I'm playing it at the show next week. Are you about but to I have it? not dropped it. About to cue it up, Sean? Yeah. All right, so before you cue that up, uh, we're getting to that ending point, guys. Uh, we're at 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, we're at, that's where we usually end it, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I mean, yo, we can go whenever though, dude. I mean, like, unless you got shit to do. Unfortunately, I do. Yeah. Oh, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. But yeah. like, we do want to end it on a positive yeah, and listen. cool like note, and we're gonna yeah. play. We can just say the it's song. called Natural Escape. Wait, wait, wait! If this if it's gonna end after the song, you wanna do shout outs? Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, unless you wanna do the shout outs while the song's going. I mean, that'd be cool too. But you know, people are gonna get distracted. No, I'm so, song, yeah, I know. That's why. That's why I explained <laughs> yeah. why it's a bad idea, Sean. No, so. Yeah. Before we start the song, yeah, shout out. You got who, who you want to shout out? And, shout and out my your, boy Drew. And all, where and, to find all your shit. And all right, word. Shout out Drew, obviously the man. Shout out Miller, my roommate. Shout out Robbie and Brandon and Jake, the dudes in the Yetis that have been playing with me for years. And uh, shout out my parents and my friends and you too and this show wow. for being the shit. Thank you. And um, thanks for coming. Shout out Maryland because I love this school. You indeed. Hell yeah. Foster's creativity. Yeah. And genius, it does. Though. And fearless, yeah, low key. fearless, hey, and fearless true. Ideas. Plan. Uh, yeah. Dude, yeah, going to LA. That's a fearless idea. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're on. Oh, and you can find all my shit on SoundCloud and soon to be on Spotify, but not yet. Are they looking up uh, Warren or Warren Buffett? Uh, you could try. I think it's just Warren. I think I got it now. Where it's Warren just, on SoundCloud. Yeah. yeah, so just Warren in all caps, and you, I should be popping up. Yes. And come follow, on, follow his shit. Hit that follow it. button. Oh, IG, yep. More at Warren Russell, and then same with Twitter. So like that. two two L two S's and two L's in Russell. People always fuck with that. Eat more Clementines and eat well, Clementines. Yes, good for you. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna use that. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> you somewhere. got it. They're good somewhere for you. in my shit. You don't want scurvy. No, definitely not. All right, yeah. Without further ado, it's thank you for Natural listening. Um, this is Natural Escape. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go.
distracted Won't let up, you're all reactive People always want a reaction So let them have it I came back home, you're drinking heavy Like you got something on your mind You used to always tell the truth But now they're lying What happened to you? What happened to you? So I told you like it if we messed around. Take a chance on something else. Your world will be flipped upside down. You might find a new action you like. A change.